Alright, hey guys, we just made the transition from Harley uh, and the office and now we're coming over here with uh, Bree and Savannah with their newborn litters in the barn. I forgot to mention in the Harleys, which I can just kind of tell you now, that full moon we just had basically kicked all of them. They had a different due date that was uh, within a five day range and uh, that full moon kicked them all in gear and we had uh, for the first time ever three litters born uh, basically within a 14 to 16 hour period. And uh, of course, we didn't sleep that night, which is why we didn't <laughs> do the videos within that normal 24-hour gap. Uh, we we ourselves had to we had to recuperate, so it was a long, long, long Friday uh, and Friday night. But really good, healthy litters, uh, and a very cool, unique, different one over here as well. We're gonna hop over here to Breeze first. Savannah, no, Hannah, hey, come on, Becca, come on, and uh, Becca and Bree. I uh, like to kind of always show their litters to each other, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and let Becca out. Um, this is just kind of Becca's little peek in, throwing that in there. And uh, something we do every time they both have puppies, we let them kind of come in right away and see see their sister's new uh, new newborn pup. So we're going to go ahead and get Becca out for a little bit. And we'll open the barn here uh, briefly after we get kind of this transition done, but we want to kind of just be about the puppies right now. We'll get to see some of the more dogs come out in here after that. All right, come on, Bree, Bree. Go lay down and feed your babies. Come on, girl. Yeah. All right. Yeah. He's a big cat. Come on. Good cat. That's a good, good reboot. She said, I know how to do it. You don't have to show me no more. All right, now we're going to come in here. And, uh, of course, we're kind of doing two videos here at one time. So we'll kind of give about 10 minutes on this side. And then we'll jump over and do about 10 minutes on Savannah's as well. And I'm going to go ahead and start doing the sex ratio breakdown here. Now, if you're on any of these three lists, uh, Breeze Litter, Savannah's, or uh, Harley's, a lot of this stuff is going to be grouped together, and I'll kind of start talking about some of those things if you're on the list, what you can expect. Uh, basically, we'll have four to five different video updates and uh, weekly email updates as well. And what we're going to do is spread out all the information so you're not overwhelmed at the end. Uh, that way you're better prepared for everything. But uh, we spread it out also so that you're not overwhelmed in the front as well. So this week, the first week, you'll get the, uh, the puppy pointer sheet along, of course, with this newborn video update. And then we'll work out some list things like we typically do on every quarter uh, based on sex ratios and stuff and families switching around. Uh, and then we'll kind of start kicking it off after they get about two and a half, two, two and a half weeks of age, that 10 to 14 uh, day mark. Their eyes will open and they'll start crawl walking around, do a video update then. Uh, we'll do a video update in the discovery stage, which is basically three and a half weeks. And uh, that's my funnest favorite, that's my most favorite stage. It's when uh, basically the pups are discovering everything all at once within a, like, a roughly a three day period. Uh, it's really cool stuff to see. Uh, and with these uh, three litters born basically the same day, uh, it's going to be a very, it's going to be a really cool mix to kind of watch this crew all develop and grow together. And now uh, that's going to be fun and really uh, something to look forward to because once we get to those stages, we're going to be able to uh, come up with some really creative, uh, fun playtime videos where it's not just typically looking in on the litter and playing with them in the barn and outside and doing those things. But we're doing that with three different litters entirely, so we're going to get to kind of separate them but also group them together in kind of our playtime days. And uh, those videos videos are going to get to feature that. And uh, it's going to be a really, really cool way to kind of uh, have like a basically like a little kid's recess for these different uh, different uh, puppies. So we'll have Bree's class and Savannah's class and Harry's class show up to, to recess and make some really fun videos doing that. And uh, that's, that's going to be really fun stuff to see. And uh, when we look over here to Savannah, you'll see uh, a lot about what I'm kind of talking about right now uh, with uh, something we'll probably never see again and a very different look. Uh, that we'll be able to share here at uh, Southern Southern Kennels with everybody together. So, I uh, believe Bree Bree has six girls and uh, three boys. Uh, Chelsea did a pre-count and told me that's what they were. So we're just going to hop in here and kind of double check that to make sure. Uh, but if that's the case, uh, again, just you're pulling a Harley. Y'all y'all must have had a had a meeting and uh, made a couple decisions around here, didn't you? 
because uh, that's an, pretty much an all-girl litter on Harley's list and also the same for uh, for Breeze and uh, I'm picking up so far two girls and one boy that's three girls and one boy four girls and one boy five girls and one boy five girls and two boys five girls and three boys Congratulations, everybody. Chelsea passed math class. <laughs> Six girls and three boys. Good girl, Bree Bree. Bree's a pro. She, I didn't have to do anything with, with her. She just kind of sits up, and uh, she does. She does have her puppies a lot different than most of the other dogs, but she really does sit up and have her pups. And uh, the only one I've ever seen do that. Uh, and actually, I believe it really helps her have her pups very safely and uh, <laughs> kind of quick because every time Bree has pups, they're out in about four hours. Boom! That's the whole, the whole, the whole group's just. You come in here and check on her. Oh, Bree started having pups. She's got two. You come back, there's seven in like 30 minutes. So uh, she knows she knows how to do her thing. Right now, though, she's looking forward to that uh, the day the, the the afternoon swim where she gets to come out. And uh, we're pushing 95 degrees right now in uh, mid-July in Alabama, and um, it gets hot. Gets hot. You got you got the air condition on. We got a fan on in every slot, and we're keeping them uh, pretty pleasant. Roughly about 78, and the fans blowing on them, and uh, they feel pretty comfortable in here. But they look forward to coming out here and doing that swim. And Bree Bree's the one that kind of heads that up. So they're all kind of barking and waiting for Bree Bree to come out and play. Especially Becca, she's just sitting there. She's sitting there right th outside on the side, uh, the yard, watching Bree, waiting for her to come out. She said, my puppy's gone home. Now my sister's got her babies. And I want my friends. <laughs> it's a good girl, Bree Bree. Very, very, very healthy litter over here. And uh, could be summer. Um, we're not, we haven't changed anything routinely, but uh, every one of these three litters that were born are very big, strong, healthy newborn pups uh, coming out looking, you know, looking uh, like they're three days old. So, very, very big, healthy, strong puppies. Let me do a close up here. This is one of the boys. Bree Bree, you gonna let me show your babies? You gonna let me show them your babies? She said, I don't know, Daddy. And uh, if we're able to in the video, maybe not this one, but probably when we start playing outside, I'll show you these two different Savannah dens. Uh, Savannah's a digger, so her slot looks a little bit different than Bree's because uh, she's dug some two very uh, pretty, pretty good dens here um, going into the earth about four or five feet and uh, trying to have her puppies in there of course before um, before she gave birth <clears throat> and the dogs are, are one of them's outside on side and the dogs are already starting to use them and uh, it would be kind of fun to kind of see that as a little a little playtime den for uh, Savannah's pups as they start going in and out of their den they'll start going to that uh, that little uh, that little cave den that they, that she uh, that she dug them it's a good girl Bree Bree said my baby's gonna play over that den too. You said something about recess. <laughs> She's a good girl, baby. So look at my babies. And uh, in this litter, we're seeing predominantly a good rust, dark rust color. This is one uh, kind of maybe golden rust looking here, but for the most part, a really good strong rust, dark rust color. So that's gonna take after that that Jericho look. You compare that to uh, Chloe's, of course, and her Chloe's a golden rust, and she's Chloe's uh, Chloe's pups are a little bit a little bit lighter than Bree so far. All right, now we are gonna hop over here and uh, jaw drop everybody. I ain't gonna say a thing. We're just gonna let you see it, and figure it out first, 
and then I'll kind of describe what uh, what went down. So then I said, Daddy, I know, I know it's not conventional wisdom around here, but I couldn't take it anymore. Jericho, Jericho making babies with all the Vija girls. And I wanted to shake things up at prom this year, and I took Bentley. <laughs> And uh, that's apparently that's what's happened. Now, if you've ever heard that there can be two dads of one litter, uh, we actually had proof of that um, last year when Otis uh, bred uh, the end of Beretta cycle, and we had one, we had one cross and an entire litter of vigils. And you're seeing that here. Um, I'll describe what you're seeing uh, here, but <laughs> right now uh, you can just kind of, kind of kind of pull this in because this will uh, you'll probably never see this again I hope we never see this again and uh, we might have just created something here that's extremely rare which I know we have uh, and they're called Wiseless um, it's half Vigla half uh, Weimaraner and because Bentley is a blue you're seeing uh, for the first time uh, this is our fifth uh, Weisla litter uh, and and the first time we're having like a blue black wise look. So these guys. <laughs> these guys are these guys are pretty crazy awesome right here. Uh, then you've got of course the chocolate. And I'm gonna very slowly describe what a wise look what happens, what they are as they grow up and they've developed uh, into a full full grown dog. Uh, the traits they take after, the Vizsla, we've got one back here, is uh, they have the shorter hair like the Vizsla. They'll have that real short shiny coat so these kind of blue black Wiselas are going to be a very very short shiny uh, coat same thing on these chocolates and there's three there's three chocolate ones four black wiselas and then we have the two Jericho pups these are the two Vizslas of course here and we have a blonde rust extremely rare we only have about three or four of these a year very gorgeous pups. Uh, that's what Maddie is. We have one blonde rust in our program, and that's Maddie. So this is a true blonde. Very hard to find these these kind of vizslas. <clears throat> and then we have a good rust color vizsla. And these are both girls. And I know a lot of the families now watching the video. Are, oh no! What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? But uh, luckily, there's two girls, so there's not gonna need to be very much switching unless you would want to. And of course, with Bree having six girls, we've got plenty of room there, so the timing's still going to work out just great, and uh, we'll have options there on having a, plenty of girl girl pups to pick from, which is basically eight in total between Savannah and Bree. Uh, these are the girls. Um, now, talking about some more things that they're going to have coming from the wine. The wine is going to give the Weisla a bigger, blockier head. So you'll have that blockhead look in our program that we kind of develop with, the, with our dogs and the wine. It's going to have that good, strong blockhead look. The ears won't be as long as the wines, but they'll typically be a little bit longer than the visuals, having kind of an in-between medium length uh, ear, it, which makes it more kind of, uh, you can compare it very similar to uh, German short hair kind of look in the head, if that would make sense. If you've ever seen a German sh short hair, they're, 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 the shapes of their head, their ears, the face, looks a lot like a German short hair. Of course, same thing on the chocolate. You're just going to have the black, and then you're going to have the chocolate. It's, they're going to have that more similar Vizsla look to them. But they're going to take after the wine in the head, and then again in the chest. The chest will be a little bit bigger than the Vizsla. And you can see that now, even, even at birth. I got a hunter's mark on this guy. Much bigger chest. 
much bigger chest on them and uh, a little bit more muscular look. And then size, the size is gonna be right in the middle between a Vigila and a wine, where you got Vigilas, boys and girls, roughly in that 40 to 50 pound range. 35 to 55, 55 is probably a better uh, number value. And then the wisel is gonna be right in the middle, closer to, to the 60 mark. We've had, uh, we've had a couple different Weisel litters and uh, that's what we're gonna kinda feature here on the available post page. You'll see the Weisel litter separate with these videos uh, and we'll have the charts of course on everybody's pages showing availability. Uh, but basically, uh, with the Weisel, Vigila, Wimes going home at the same time, we're gonna have, uh, we're gonna have a bunch of pups uh, going home right at the end of August, early September. And uh, I'm going to kind of create a page and information that we have to kind of show you what the Weisla looks like. And I'll be able to share a lot of uh, information with anybody interested in the Weislas. Um, but they make awesome, awesome dogs. Uh, we've had two families, uh, two big hunters actually in uh, Arkansas and Texas tell us they're some of the best hunting dogs they've ever seen. Uh, and they're absolutely breathtaking. Uh, one of our uh, photographer families have, has one of our Weislas. Um, and uh, she's going to donate some photos for us to share with everybody. And uh, some of the most beautiful dogs you've ever seen. And they, they look uh, exactly like they are. They, they look like, you know, oh my God, what is that? That dog is beautiful and it's, it's what you're seeing. It's a half wine, uh, half a Vigla, and uh, they're called the Weislas. So we've got a really cool summer, don't we, Savannah? He said, I know, Daddy, I broke all the rules. But I'm changing things around here. I'm taking a stand. I'm taking a stand for the love. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we had, I remember the day, and we had come out, and um, Savannah was out. And I, I, I kind of freaked out then. I said, oh, no. But I looked back, and Bentley was on the back porch sleeping. So I don't know how they pulled this off. They must have been really quick and sneaky about it. And, you know, okay, hurry up. Go back to the house. And, Bentley got back to the house, alright, I'm gonna pretend like I'm sleeping. I never went back there. <laughs> and Savannah and Bentley did their thing. So uh, that's what we got here and uh, it's gonna be really fun to kind of see. I I'm excited about it. We've got a visual litter, uh, we got a wine rainer litter, and we got a wise litter, all born on the same day on the full moon, full moon of July in 2014. And uh, we're gonna have a really cool two months here watching these guys grow and uh, play together and turn into some awesome Vigilas, Wine Rainers, and, uh, and uh, these guys right here. It's a good girl, Savannah. Let's see what we got over here. All right, what we're gonna do is kind of quick, uh, quick count these visuals and wines, um, the crosses. I mean, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna count the boy-girl ratio on here. So we got one uh, black boy here, another boy, girl, girl. So two girls and two boys here, and then on the chocolates. One boy, one girl, we got another one hiding, and another girl. So, two girls and one boy on the chocolates, two girls and two boys on the black. And then our two Vigila, Jericho, Savannah girls. And uh, she said, all the girls are talking about me. And I love it. She said, little redhead girl. Got big dent dent. She's a great girl, Savannah. Savannah is by far one of the best mothers we have, one of the most nurturing visuals we have. She's a little mama for everybody around here. And uh, she's gonna do good really taking care of her bitty, uh, her, her puppies here. So we're gonna wrap this up. And uh, this is Savannah's Weisla. And, uh, 
visual look at it. 